Hi, and welcome to another video by The Peppy Techie. Today we're going to create cool flapping text video using Keynote iOS for LumaFusion, iMovie, and other video apps, including for the PC and the Mac. A while ago, I created a video on flapping text using LumaFusion and chroma key techniques. It is fun, however, recently learning more about Keynote, I discovered an easier way to create flapping text or flapping objects and turn it into a video to use in LumaFusion or other iOS video apps. And you can create a template. Keynote is also free for users who have purchased an iOS device, so you can download it for free, so make sure you have it for this project. I'd also like to announce a giveaway this week. I'm going to be giving away a free large diaphragm studio microphone. Watch the video for info on how to get the link to sign up to win. Also, make sure to subscribe as I'm going to be having more giveaways over the next few weeks and with my next video. So right now, let's get to it. I'll show you how to do it. Opened up Keynote. We're going to click on Create Presentation. And you want to go to the Basic Themes and choose White, just plain white. Now that you have your first slide, go to the left side, down to the bottom where the plus sign is, and tap. I want you to choose Title Center. Go to the first slide, tap and hold, and cut it. What we're going to do is set this up as a template. Tap the paintbrush, go to Background, choose a color that you would like to use. I like to use Blue 4. I'm going to tap back. I'm going to tap off. I'm going to tap on the slide up here and choose Transition. Once I have Tap Transition, I tap Add Transition on the bottom, choose Flop, tap the X on the far left. Now go into the Flop Transition menu. You have the duration of the flop, which is one second. That's long as it will take to go from the top to the bottom. And very important, tap Start automatically. This delay means how long the text or the object will be on the screen. Half a second is good. We're going to do flopping text so quickly. And you can now preview this. But before we do that, okay, once we're done with that, we're going to double tap on the text. I'm going to type template in all caps. Now that I have my text, I'm going to tap on the paintbrush again. I'm going to go to the font. I choose Helvetica Nouveau. And I tap the I next to it, which means there's more choices. Go down to the bottom and choose Condense Black because it's nice and blocky. Tap back, back on text. Now I'm going to tap and hold the size till I get to 250 to 275. That's personal preference. The next thing I will do is choose my text color, whichever color you want. I'm going to use a gradient. My start color is white. My end color will be orange 4. I tap into the screen to get off that menu. Now I'm going to tap the text again. Tap Animate. You do not need this for folding text. This is just a little extra bonus we're adding in. I'm going to add in the comment. Tap the X on the left. Tap the comment build-in menu. Duration is half a second. Left to right. Start. It should be after transition. Now I am currently in the Animate Slide and Object menu. I now have this slide doing all the animations and the transition that I want. Before I say Done, I'm going to click on this slide and say Duplicate. You'll notice I can also copy animation or delete animation here. But I want to duplicate everything, all animations and all transitions and all text. We'll make six slides. Now that I'm done with that duplicate, I'll say done. The reason I like to do it that way is if I do it the other way, I have to tap on this, say copy, black area, and say paste. So this is my blank template. This actually, this text, I'm going to delete because I want to start with a blank slide. The reason I choose this is when I go into post-production using my video editing app, give yourself some room to edit in. I'm going to come to this first word, template, 
I'll just double click on it, hit the cap lock, tap on the next one. So I have my blank slide to start, Peppy, Techie, and YouTube. On the last slide, what I want is to add my logo. So I'm going to come in and grab my logo. I'm going to tap on this and animate it, build in an action, and I'm going to choose Anvil, which means it's going to come in and bang. You want to, as soon as you're done, click back in that Anvil menu. Make sure the duration is what you want. I don't want it, I want it to be pretty quick. I'm going to actually change it to a second. And I want it to start after transition. You can also add a delay in here if you wanted your logo to stay longer. The next thing I do is I'm going to come to this blank slide and I'm actually going to copy it and paste it. The reason, again, is so I have editing control once I get it into post-production. A few other choices that I want to add as a bonus, if I was to go to Peppy, if I tap on it, but you'll also get a ruler on the left and on the top. You'll notice I have a zero at the top. On the left-hand side, you have three, so it tells you what the top of the text is, the middle of the text is, and the end of the text is. And I'm going to put that all the way at 5 and make sure that it's at the 0. Drop it. Come to this techie. It should be on the 0. Now I'm going to come to YouTube. Bring this down to the bottom 50. Make sure that top is at 0 in the very middle. And now the difference is, when I play this, sort of looks like it's falling down to another line. So that's just another way to do it. Now I'm done. I'm going to click on the three dots in the top right, tap Export, tap Movie. The resolution is 1080p. You can change it to 4K if you want it. Then tap Back to Movie Options. I'm going to Export. Now make sure that when you get to this point, you tap Save Video. And it's now going to save to your photos. I'm going to take you back to LumaFusion. What I want to do is I want this fold to kind of start. So I'm going to roll it in. And this is why I said it gives you some choices. And I'm going to cut that first part out. And the reason I want this last slide is because if I were to add a transition at the end of this, it's one second. And it always takes a little bit out of the video. You may want to add a little sound effect to this. So this is when this comes in. For those of you who are using story blocks or maybe you have other music or sound files, I use story blocks, sound FX, and there's an air swoosh. And I'm gonna drop it right here. And it should start. There we go, so that was pretty good. Let's try it again. Okay, now the next one's coming. Since I know that swoosh is coming, I'm gonna click on this and duplicate it. Move it down to where I need it. Duplicate this one. And now, of course, I have this coming in. So I'm just going to drop this one down to about right here. And there's my ending. That's how you edit it in LumaFusion and use it with Keynote. I hope you enjoyed this video. So that's how you create folding text using Keynote in iOS and in my case, LumaFusion. Now you could import that video into iMovie or into any other video app. So hey, great way to create some folding text and even a folding object. Please make sure you subscribe, hit the notification button. I'm gonna be doing some more videos with Keynote for iOS, as well as many more videos with LumaFusion. And smash that like button if you found some value in this video. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Hope you'll subscribe to the Peppy Techie channel. Please make sure you hit the bell so you'll be notified when I make a new video. And leave your comments down below. Your questions, your thoughts, even your advice is much appreciated. And don't forget to smash that like button. Thanks for watching the Peppy Techie channel.